Today we have some exciting new ventures across the globe in 3D printed buildings. From houses to structures and even bridges, additive manufacturing is reshaping the world of construction and architecture to create incredible pieces of work in less time and most cases less costs. Starting off, we've got California based Mighty Buildings completing a new investment round of $22 million. In case you haven't heard of them before, uh, they've actually found a niche in creating built-to-order houses and accessory dwelling units like granny flats, in-law units, and backyard cottages. They've also proven that they can make these buildings in as little as 24 hours. The company now totals $101 million in total investments after their $40 million Series B funding round that was announced earlier this year. What's really cool is they're using their proprietary photopolymer resin called Lightstone as opposed to concrete like many others in the printable housing sector. They spent the first few years of the business behind the scenes to build a really working, viable product and the hard work is just starting to show. Compared to a lot of other technologies, their light stone material is an absolute game changer as it reduces the additional labor required for concrete like curing times and extra steel reinforcement. Now at this point, you're probably wondering how you can actually experience one of their 3D printed buildings. Let us know in the comment section down below and while you're at it, if you're liking this content, give us a like and subscribe for future videos because now you can actually stay in a 3D printed Airbnb. This is one on my list. You might remember the Fibonacci house made by 20 Additive Manufacturing that we mentioned in a prior news episode and today that house is available to book on Airbnb. The small spiral shaped house took about 11 days to construct and is complete with a furnished kitchen, living room, mezzanine and bathroom. As of today, it's still the only 3D printed home in the area, so if you're looking for a one of a kind place to stay in the countryside of British Columbia, the Fibonacci house should definitely be on your list. Moving right along, we've got China's first retractable 3D printed bridge. Now, if you've been following this news show for a while, 3D printed bridges are nothing new, especially in China. Uh, but this new one actually has a neat little trick up its sleeve. Located in Shanghai's industrial center, this new 3D printed bridge, appropriately named the Transformer, is actually capable of folding and unfolding on demand. The 30-foot bridge has nine segments with 36 3D printed triangular panels and is controlled by Bluetooth. Additionally, the bridge is printed in a recycled polymer composite material. A plastic bridge? I'd trust it. You know, uh, as shown in the video, the bridge is capable of supporting one ton or about 20 fully grown 100-pound adults. So when you need it, it's a bridge, and the rest of the time, it's an art piece. Not bad. If you happen to find yourself in Shanghai, you can visit the bridge in the Wisdom Bay Park, and while you're at it, check out the nearby museum dedicated to 3D printing. Now, in other bridge-related news, the Queen of the Netherlands has officially inaugurated the MX3D bridge in the city center of Amsterdam. The MX3D bridge spans one of Amsterdam's many canals, and it is fully 3D printed in stainless steel. Deal. Now, the bridge definitely sticks out like a sore thumb compared to all the other bridges around there, but it's for good reason, as its shape was specifically created with generative design, meaning that the shape is completely optimized for weight and strength. And as you may know, 3D printing can be taken even further with generative design as it optimizes the entire shape of the part, or in this case, the entire bridge, making it not only stronger and lighter, but also designed in a way that it's easy to build with additive manufacturing. The bridge is now open for residents and visitors to explore, and you'll definitely want to check out the creation videos. It's really, really cool how they made those bridges. And finally, we've got the world's largest 3D printed building, specifically a pavilion in Nanjing, China. The massive pink multidimensional hyperbolic structure upon first looks is a pretty wild design with swoops and curves and overhangs that you definitely wouldn't see in an ordinary structure. Kind of reminds me of uh, EMP out in Seattle if you've ever been there, the Seattle Center. Now, one of the biggest problems with large scale 3D printing is the demand for both scale and precision. And the team over there has actually managed to overcome this with special surface subdivision optimization algorithms that neatly divide the entire exterior shell into individual sections for printing. 
The exterior is covered in individually 3D printed panels made up of six different shades of pink, which are UV and weather resistant. And one of the project leads commented, the concept of the pavilion revealed to us the influential possibility of applying 3D printing in construction. It gives us an idea of the future of architecture. The pavilion showed us what human creativity and robotic precision can bring to design and construction. It's created a new workflow and reshaped the traditional process from design to fabrication. You can find this pavilion inside the Happy Valley Amusement Park in Nanjing, along with a few uh, thrill rides. So, what was your favorite construction 3D printing project? Personally, uh, these slick new homes from Mighty Buildings, on the website anyway, make them look phenomenal and very modern. Probably away from a little extra square footage, but let us know what you think in the comments below. Here at Vision Miner, we specialize in functional 3D printing, high temp, high strength industrial materials. So if you need that, hit us up on our website or give us a call. We use and sell all kinds of equipment from 3D printers to scanners every single day so we can help you find the right one. If you guys like this content, if you got something good out of it, and you want more of it, let us know by hitting that like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a positive rest of your day, and I'll see you on the next video.